salute, 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 salute. Canelo continues to dominate. Canelo continues to establish greatness. The more he does great, the more some people going to hate. But like they say, if they not hating, then you're not doing something right. Um, I want to take my hats off to both fighters. Uh, Caleb Plant um, put up a great, great performance. Any Anybody else would have lost. Anybody else besides Saul Canelo Alvarez would have lost that fight against Caleb Plant. He put on a spectacular performance. I think he, he pulled every single tool and trick out the bag that he had, period, point blank. I mean, he left no stone unturned. I think he did everything he could have done within his ability, period, point blank. At the end of the day, it just wasn't enough uh, for Canelo Alvarez. It's kind of sad. It kind of, to me, it almost felt like if uh, Caleb Plant would have had maybe one or two more tough, tough fights before he fought Canelo, he might have been able to pull off the upset and upset the apple cart. But, you know what I'm saying, going from the fights that he had, Truax and fucking butts and fucking boots, going into a fight with Canelo, um, I just still think it was certain things that he wasn't prepared for, namely Canelo power. And it's hard to say how you can be prepared for Canelo power because it's almost like mythical to this point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think Caleb Plant, for one, underestimated Canelo just a little bit. I think he underestimated his power. You know what I mean? Like um, some of the things that he did, everything that you saw um, Caleb Plant practicing, it transferred into the ring. But it was like maybe some of the game plan was a little bit wrong. But at the same time, it's like, what can you do? What can you do against Canelo? What can you do that he hasn't seen? You know what I'm saying? Besides really being able to put him on the back foot like Triple G, but you got to have that kind of power. And, and Caleb Plant just, he doesn't possess that type of power. But everything that he had in his tool bag, I felt like he brought it out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Canelo brought out the best of Caleb Plant. And then um, ultimately, he got his man out of the ring in the 11th round. And that, 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 that to me, uh, should allow Caleb Plant to hold his head up high. All his fans should really be able to hold their head up high. If you can give uh, Deontay Wilder credit for going out on his shield, you know what I'm saying? You should be able to give Caleb Plant credit for going out on his shield and putting up a great performance against, uh, you know what I'm saying, an elite level, a highly elite level fighter. Like, you talk about levels, there is levels, but he proved to be at a very high level. It's just that, you know, Canelo proved to be that much greater. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of things, if, as far as in the ring, that showed up both sides. I think both, both guys uh, put on the best performance they could, um, worked every single penny. And Caleb Plant proved to be worth that $10 million for that belt. You know what I'm saying? Like, Caleb Plant didn't go in there to lay down. Caleb Plant didn't go in there to just give away his belt. He, 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 he went in there to try to win that fight. And he almost went the distance and took the moral victory. You know what I mean? Like, if he would have went 12 rounds and lost by decision, he definitely would have been able to even make a case for a rematch. Um, but the way he got knocked out in the 11th round, that, that was very devastational. That was a devastational. And I watched that knockout over and over and over. <laughs> that dude was out. I, I seen some people talking about it was a maybe an early stoppage and things like that. Yeah, you know what, like I said, the haters come out too. As much as I like to, you know what I'm saying, take my hat off and applaud greatness, a lot of people like to come out in juxtaposition and, 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 and oppose and hate. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to say that Andre Ward could beat Canelo. They want to say it was a bad stoppage. They want to say that Canelo was uh, exposed. All that stuff right there to me is hogwash. I feel like, you know, Canelo is on a, on a destiny to become one of the greatest fighters ever. And when he gets old and he starts to deteriorate and break down, he's going to be another fighter that I'm going to hate to see uh, lose. He's going to be another fighter that I hate to see, you know what I'm saying, lose to father time. But at the end of the day, he still is very young. And if he goes on to beat Charlo and 
David Benavidez and he goes up to 175 and he dominates 175 and beat the uh, better Beebs and uh, Beevils and all of that. If he does that, you got to give him his credit. I give him his credit already. Some people will never give Saul Canelo Alvarez credit. They're going to try to permanently label him as a cheater, flat footed, not a non Mexican. Uh, all kind of slur names, yada, 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 say this is what I say. I dig Saul Canelo Alvarez. I think he's a great fighter. I think he brings a lot to the table. He's entertaining. You can call him the face of boxing or you can call him, you know what I'm saying, um, the, the cash cow, however you want to label it. At the end of the day, I think he's more excited than Mayweather. Mayweather was the face of boxing, but Mayweather is nowhere near exciting in the ring as, as compared to Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got these little young fighters, to me, who can box, but they need to be looking at that type of style that Canelo has when he's breaking people down, breaking people down from the body and then breaking them up at top. Like some of those shovel punches or screwdriver punches that Saul Canelo Alvarez was throwing down to the body and hitting on that hip bone and hitting on them rib cages, that's impressive. You know what I'm saying? That, to me, showed me the, the, the mentality and the IQ going against somebody that has a, a reach advantage, a height advantage. They got all this body down here to break down. Like Teddy Atlas always say, you like a tall skyscraper. You got a lot of glass windows that people like to bust. Canelo has mastered against Caleb Smith, uh, against Caleb Plant, against, um, what's that, Sergey Kovalev. These taller fighters, bigger fighters, long fighters with that long jab. He goes in there and slips a lot of fucking punches. A lot of jabs that Caleb Plant was throwing was just right there in the pocket. Canelo standing right there in the pocket, slipping all those jabs and coming down. Ow! And, and busting down on hips, busting down on the ribs, busting down in that bread basket and slowing this man down and ultimately landing in that 11th round, that TKO, where I knew Caleb Plant was eventually going to fall a victim to, similar to Billy Joe Saunders. The way Caleb Plant would lean all the way down and lean all the way down, I knew that that was going to get timed. I thought he would get timed somewhere in the 8th, ninth, or 10th round. So credit and kudos goes out to Caleb Plant for lasting into the 11th round. But boy, boy oh boy, did he get, he, he got hurt. He got knocked out. I think he got concussed, but it was a great performance from him. And he has no, I mean, he went out like a, he's a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Caleb Plant even more now after this fight for the way he fought Canelo. And I continue to support Canelo Alvarez uh, for, for establishing greatness, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? That's my thoughts on the subject. I just wanted to touch base. It ain't a lot to say that ain't already been said. But at the end of the, end of the day, you know, I, I got to go against a lot of people that's hating on Canelo, saying that this wasn't a great performance. This was a great and a masterful performance. It was a masterpiece from both sides, but I gotta say, Canelo just painted the canvas in a beautiful way. I mean, he just set his guy up, set all kind of traps, worked the body, slipped jabs, had excellent movement. When he hurt, when he hurt Caleb Plant, and Caleb Plant was kind of on the run. Did you see that little run that Canelo did towards his man? Oh man, I was in tears, man. Go back and watch that little when he did that little that little run because he knew he had his man out of there. But it's like, they say Canelo was flat-footed. <laughs> when he did that little run, and he ran up to Can and, and finished him off, oh, that was comical to me. That was so comical to see Canelo try to run. Look, save the track for Caleb Plant. You don't got no business on the track. You got them hands, you know what I'm saying? You got that movement, but you, you, may, you don't have the feet, man. I'm just playing, man. Canelo Alvarez is a monster. He's a beast. He's an alligator. He's a crocodile. You know what I'm saying? He's the, he's the creature in the lagoon. That dude is a monster, period, point blank. Caleb Plant, hey, you got them sweet hands, man. You got them sweet hands. Throwing some beautiful combinations. Your shoulder roll didn't even look that bad. You came back with a nice few little counter punches, some uppercuts. Beautiful. I was impressed by both guys. Seeing the end coming, it was, it was inevitable. But at the same time, it was incredible. Nocturnal thoughts. Bow, bow, bow. I salute y'all, man. Be easy. Peace.